there's a book that I've been meaning to share with you for a little while, and it is this one. Learning Scientific Programming with Python. It's by Christian Hill. Um, Christian Hill is a physicist. He definitely knows his Python. And I think this book is a little bit underrated. So let's have a look at this book then, Learning Scientific Programming with Python. It's split into two sections. So the first section is on Python and the basics of Python, and it teaches you what you need to know in order to be able then to do the second section, which is what you might call the scientific stack. So NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. This book is for people that want to use Python to do science. So if you were about to start a physics degree uh, or you were about to start a master's degree and you didn't have any programming experience, this could be the book for you. It explains Python very well. Christian Hill definitely knows his stuff. And what I like about it is that there are so many examples. So in every section, there are really useful and helpful examples. They're not trivial examples, they're useful examples. And then the book has, at the end um, of each section in the chapters, it has a lot of uh, exercises for you to do uh, and, and questions that you have to answer. And it also has solutions. So that's useful because a lot of books like this don't have solutions. This doesn't have solutions for all of the questions in the book, but it does have quite a lot of solutions. So that will be useful for you. There's also an accompanying website where there's more content uh, as well. And also, whilst this isn't a book specifically aimed at people that want to learn Python for data analysis and data science, it could certainly be a useful addition to your library if that's why you want to learn Python. The last section in the book covers pandas, um, and it has a really good section on pandas, which is the uh, package for data wrangling. And it has some really good examples of using pandas for data analysis and some very good problems that would help. Uh, there's also the section on NumPy also contains useful lessons on statistical functions in NumPy. So don't rule it out if you wanted uh, to learn Python for data analysis and data science. I don't think it would be a standalone book. I don't think you, you, you would also need other uh, resources as well, but it may work for you if that's your motivation for learning Python. One question to ask about this book might be, is it a good general book on Python? And part one certainly is. It's an excellent introduction to the fundamentals of Python. It teaches them very well. There are lots of examples. There are lots of problems. Um, I think if you work through the first section of the book uh, as a newcomer to Python, by the time you reach the end, you'd understand the basics of the language very well indeed. The rest of the book, though, is, is very heavily skewed towards scientific applications. That's NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. If you want to learn those packages, then take a look at this book. I don't think you'll regret buying it. If you're not so focused on those packages, then maybe if you can get your hands on a copy of the book and just have a look through it, maybe get it from a library, it could well be the book for you. It's really an underrated little gem, I think, as far as teaching Python goes. But because it's so weighted towards science, that might put some people off. I've really enjoyed working through this book. I've learned a lot from it, and I think you will too. So in summary, if you want to learn Python for scientific programming, then I think this is the book that you need to get. If your motivation for learning Python lies elsewhere, this could still be a very good book for you, but I wouldn't want to recommend it until you've had a look at it. Um, so definitely consider it as a book that might be useful for you, and don't be put off by the title because the fundamentals that it teaches about Python will stand you in very good stead. And who knows, you might want to learn the scientific stack as well. That might be useful for you too. Oh, and just to let you know, this is the second edition of the book. I haven't seen the first edition. And this second edition on Amazon in the UK is £30.